We are back with episode 2 of our Digital Garage season 2. In the last episode we talked about uh, growth mindset. Today we will talk about authenticity and transparency which the technology leaders need. Today we are not in our digital garage but we are in our digital studio which is the Studio 77. This is our design studio and is uniquely positioned for technology and design to work together. So let's dwell into the topic. There are three areas that I want to cover in authenticity and transparency today. First, the need of authenticity and transparency. So we'll cover why this is needed within the organization, especially in this new world, in this new area we are in post-COVID, in the war world, and the challenges that the world is facing. The the second, what does authenticity look like? And that's very important for us to cover so that the leaders understand what does it look like. And then the third, which is very important, can we architect authenticity? in transparency in an organization and that is very important to understand we at systems are going through these challenges on everyday basis we are hiring 100 to 200 people every month and authenticity and transparency is a key uh, item that we continue to work so let's look at the need of authenticity and 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 transparency in the organization in today's world our tech leaders need authentic and bold leadership to guide technology and digital transformation within their organizations and within their employees and they will do this only by bringing in a lot of authenticity in their leadership this also uh, addresses and solves one of the big challenges which the corporates uh, face which is how do they continue to attract hire and retain talent this also goes hands in hand with transparency and honesty which are part of authenticity a core part of authenticity i would say being uh, vulnerable to your colleagues and also open up about opportunities with them is very important in today's world as generation z floods the job market and job workplace it is very clear that in today's job market we don't we are not promising employees lifelong employment but what we are promising them is openness a, a clear purpose and a mission that can grow them the new characteristics of gen z are aligned with this job market the people working for people still holds true but now the new generations are looking to work for authentic leaders and authentic leadership in this new workplace and landscape is much different from the old command and control leadership so at systems we've created this culture where we've got the people managers who are dealing with their team members there is 8 to 10 people managers that bring in um, bring in closeness bring in human relationships with their team members and this helps them grow further this brings in authenticity to the relationship and also brings in transparency and starts to show individual strengths and talents that each of the team member has imagine there are only 10 people that you're dealing with on a daily basis you can know them you can know them very well and that creates the relationship so there is a huge need for authentic and transparent leadership within this within organizations as we move forward into 23 and beyond authentic leadership means understanding and acknowledging your strengths and weaknesses and as leaders being open to changing for the better and also showing your vulnerabilities imagine if you're working with your team members and they understand how strong you are in certain areas but they also understand your weaknesses that then creates very strong teams it is not like old days where we you're working for public sector organizations and as soon as the boss enters the room everybody has to listen to the boss everyone has ideas these days you have to create a environment a culture of authenticity and transparency so that each of the team member can contribute to the growth of the mission may it be services may it be product or to the growth of the overall organization honestly some of the people want to be leaders all the time and that's fine they have those leadership skills and they also have that leadership persona but there are some people who would love to be just managers manage things day to day recognize that and we need both of these skills in an organization and they are comfortable being with managers or leaders and that's fine 
but the need for authenticity and transparency stays very high. Authentic leadership is also important in bringing diverse diversity to the workplace. Diversity is not just different gender, but it's also diversity of thought and inclusion and seeing how, how new ideas work forward. So we just established that there is a need within the organization for authentic and transparent leadership and also what authenticity looks like. Now let's look at, can we architect this within an organization? Um, now, authenticity, is it a science or it can just come with luck? I think it is neither the science and it doesn't come with luck either. Organizations have to really cultivate and also nurture leaders, provide the framework so that the leaders can grow and become important part within the organization. Leaders are the one who will be moving status quo and thus architecting authentic leadership within an organization is possible and is possible by creating that culture. Weird systems are working through this on a day-to-day -day basis. And the good news is this is not a a finite journey. This is an infinite journey and we all can learn on a daily basis on how to create an architect an authentic leadership style within the organizations. We are learning, we want other organizations to learn as well and adopt this, this style on a day-to-day -day basis. Organizations are also going to get challenged by competition, by global presence and by all this phenomena of remote work. The technology leaders would require to motivate their team members by engaging with them, by creating the authenticity and leadership that comes with this authenticity so that they can attract, retain and hire good talent. Times are always changing and leadership needs to change as well. We at Systems believe that this is a continuous journey. We'll be able to tell who's changing and who's not changing and using some of the hallmarks that are available in the world and some of the studies that are doing to attract this leadership. Um, the old saying says, you adapt or you die. When you're dying, your resources numbers goes down, your revenue goes down. When you're adopting, you can continue to grow. So. In this episode, we wanted to cover how authenticity and transparency works for technology leaders in this new era and the new world, especially with the Gen Z and the new challenges they're facing. We hope that this starts for every leader a thought process and also starts them to think how they can create a culture where authenticity becomes a core part of the culture. Like growth mindset, authenticity and transparency is a cornerstone for all our technology leaders to grow from 23 and beyond. Thank you very much. Signing off for, for the next episode, we'll talk about the next things that are very important for some of these leaders, which include technology.